When we speak about great guitars at the right price, for sure Yamaha Pacifica is one of the first names that comes to mind. And today we're gonna take a look at four different Yamaha Pacifica, four guitars in a different price range from the super entry level one to the more expensive of the line and we'll see which one is the best bargain of the best guitar for the price. I ordered these four instruments to strumentimusicali.net and I'm really thankful to make this video possible and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give a like so you can help me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And now let's proceed with the unboxing. Okay, the first guitar of today is the Yamaha Pacifica 0112 and this is the entry level guitar and actually it's quite nice. The first thing that uh, actually surprised me a lot is the fingerboard is in rosewood and this is a thing that it's not really common in guitars in this price range. Apart from that, we have a mahogany body and this is kind of a singular thing because usually we don't find mahogany body on strap type uh, uh, guitars like this one. And also we have a more common um, maple neck. We also have three pickups, uh, a mocker single and single coil pickups configuration. These are ceramic pickups, so kind of high output, but they sound quite decent, I have to say. We have a five-way selector switch, volume, tone, and a tremolo. Really simple, straightforward guitar, but it's not bad at all. And later I will make you listen to some sounds of this instrument. Okay, the second guitar is the Yamaha 112. And this is a more expensive uh, guitar. We have a really nice natural finish on this uh, alder body. We have pretty much uh, the same configuration of pickups, but this time these are only of five pickups and they have a more kind of an organic sound. They're less powerful, but the guitar breathes a little bit more. We have also a push-pull uh, on the tone control to split the unbucket on the bridge position. And then we have a five-way selector switch and of course, we can see that we have a maple fretboard this time. And actually, I quite like maple fretboard guitars, especially on strut type guitars. And especially if they're not that expensive, you know, I, I'd rather play, you know, this kind of uh, woods because, I don't know, it has this snappy tone that I personally really dig. Of course, it's a personal thing. The third guitar is the Yamaha 311. And this guitar is a really nice one. I've seen this guitar played by many guitar players and actually, spoiler alert, this guitar has a great, great value for money. Uh, we have an unbucker and a P90s on the neck position that gives this guitar more character, let's say. I think this guitar is the more, yeah, full of character among the other three guitars. So really nice one indeed. I already made a review of this guitar with different uh, strat type of guitars and I personally uh, liked a lot this instrument. We have uh, anyway three-way selector switch, a push-pull here to split the humbucker on the bridge position and then we have um, a rosewood fretboard also here and you can see it's a better looking rosewood for sure compared to the uh, 0, uh, 012 and plus we have the hardware that's better we have Grover locking tuners and also the nut it's a Graftec Tusk nut then for sure it's better than the previous models and the last guitar is the Pacifica 612 and this is the flagship of Yamaha uh, Pacifica range of course excluding uh, custom order, custom design guitars. And this one actually have an alder body like the previous one, but we have a veneer top 
uh, it's kind of nice, not super flamed, I have to say, but still quite nice. We have unbuckers and uh, two single coil, all by Seymour Duncan, TB4 and two SSL1. We have also push pull to split the bridge uh, uh, humbucker and a five way select uh, switch. We have nice Wilkinson bridge, it's a VS50. Mm, that's really really nice uh, looking bridge for sure and the same hardware of the previous uh, guitar so Grover, locking tuners and a Graftec 2 nut. We have also here the maple neck with fingerboard that's made of rosewood but this time the neck is uh, lacquered so the other ones are satin so this is a different finish and many of you would prefer this one or the other i don't know let me know in the comment section down below personally i like them both but it's just you know to point that out so now i think you would like to hear these four instruments and to do so i played pretty much the same things among the four guitars so you will hear four clean clips so you can hear one just after the other so you will have a better idea on how these different guitars sound of course I never changed anything on my amplifier you know between the clips so you will hear the same amp and pedal settings so you will have clean kind of a Hendrixy type of sound a more crunch and a lead tone and then we'll speak a little bit about these four instruments and which one is the best uh, bang for the buck at least for my taste
right, the Zero 012, it's a great guitar for the price. I think that if you have to start playing guitar, this for sure is one of the best instruments that you can buy. Because yeah, it's a little bit plasticky, like uh, the feeling that you have when you're holding the guitar in your hand, especially compared to more expensive guitars, but it sounds pretty good and it feels good. It's easy to play and you know, the humbucker is powerful enough to play some hard rock music and the single coils are decent. So if you want, you know, to play a lot of variety of genres, you can do that for sure. And in the moment I'm making this video, this guitar is less than 200 euro and I think it's one of the best choices that you can make around this price range. So good job Yamaha because it's a really nice guitar for everyone that is starting to play this beautiful instrument that's the electric guitar. The second guitar, the 112, it's a step up compared to the previous one and you can definitely feel that uh, it's more refined instrument, let's say. And as I said before, I personally really like the maple, uh, the maple fretboard. It has that snappy tone that I personally really dig. And this guitar doesn't feel really like an inexpensive guitar. Uh, and actually it's pretty inspiring. Uh, I found myself to play this guitar maybe more than the others because it was just really comfortable. And I don't know, this guitar is something that it's quite interesting. And also I really like the finish. Uh, it's really classic. 80s or 90s kind of uh, finish with you know the black pick guard and stuff like that and I personally enjoy playing this guitar and this is also crazy uh, crazy price I mean it's a great guitar for the price for sure but for slightly more you can buy this one then actually I think is the best guitar you can buy in this price range because it's I don't know it's really organic sounding probably because of the P90s uh, pickup that it's not I don't know it's really warm and juicy I really like this guitar and I don't know this one has something that's even better to my taste uh, than the 612 because it has more character uh, yeah you can feel that maybe it's not a really expensive guitar um, because you know um, if you take this guitar to a luthier maybe you know it can smoothen out the fret work because it's not perfect and you know maybe maybe a better setup maybe I don't know but still, it's kind of raw, it's not really super uh, refined, I don't know how to say, but uh, the meat is there. I don't know if it makes sense, I hope it does. So, yeah, I think that for this money, it's probably the best, or one of the best guitars you can buy. At this time i mean in this moment i can't think on another guitar in the same price range in the moment i'm shooting this video of course that can be compared to this one you have to pay at least 150 euro more to get something at this level so great great job yamaha this is a really nice guitar just one thing that i noticed also on the other uh, yamaha that i reviewed the same model but it was in black color when you bend the b string I don't know if you can hear that, but this noise annoyed me a little bit, you know, and it's not a big deal because when you're playing uh, with your amplifier, that's not noticeable for sure. But if you're playing just, you know, maybe uh, without and plugged into an amp and stuff like that, and you do a bending, you can hear this beam, 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 and it's not the best thing for sure. I think it's fixable, but still, I just wanted to point out that. And lastly, the flagship of uh, Yamaha Pacifica range, the 612, for sure is the best guitar of these four, but it comes at a price that's more than twice 
of the 311. So let's say that in this price range, I mean the price range that this uh, guitar is, you can find a lot of alternatives. And so I don't know if this one would be my choice. In that price range, we are talking about less than 900 euro, more or less, at least in the moment I'm shooting this video, but of course you can check out all the links in the description down below. And um, yeah, I don't have many complaints about this guitar, but I'm just saying that you have a lot of other competitors, let's say that. So it's, you know, it's not really easy. It's a little bit uh, a hard battle. Uh, it's a nice guitar. Maybe it's not the most inspiring one. It's a little bit, let's say, anonymous. Uh, it didn't give me many inspiration like the 311 or the two, uh, sorry, the, the 112 was for me more inspiring than this one. I don't know why, but for sure you can see that this guitar is made better. But again, with this money, I don't know if I would choose this one. Anyway, I have to say that, yeah, the Pacifica range, you can have a great uh, guitar for your money in any price range, basically. I personally would like to, um, I would be curious to try a, maybe a made in Japan version of the Pacifica, like a really top tier guitar. This one is good, but you know, it's a flagship. I would like to have something that is really uh, astounding. I don't know what to say, but really inspiring. That's what I'm searching for. When I'm paying more money on a guitar, I don't want just to have guitar that is reliable. I want to have a guitar that speaks to me. And as I said before, this one, for example, speaks to me more. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe uh, the model with the P90s would have that character. So maybe I should try the 612 with the P90. Maybe, maybe one day I'll do it. Uh, if you're curious like me, drop a comment and tell me <laughs> if that's, uh, if you tried that and if I have to try that guitar out as well. And guys, if you have any questions or if you want to express your uh, opinion on these guitars or share your experiences with Yamaha Pacifica guitars, please leave a comment down below. I'm really curious. I'm reading all of your comments and it's really nice for me to read all of them. Uh, so I hope that you like this video, guys. I want to thank again, of course, tormentimusicali.net that gave me the chance to make this video for you. And I think that's pretty much all for today. Thank you very much for watching again and see you next time. Ciao.